Hi everybody. I thought I'd just do a quick little rundown on how to create uh, an access database based on your entity relationship diagram. So in class on Thursday, at the start of the class, we looked at the very beginnings of an entity relationship database when we talked about authors and books and how uh, one author could create many books. And this is um, a little bit of a, uh, an ER diagram, an example of an ER diagram, based on what we talked about in class. So here we've got two tables, table authors and table books. And if you remember what we did in class, it's like we took what we did in class and kind of stood it on its head. We kind of turned it sideways in that um, I've named one table authors, and I've named the other table books. And then I've gone through and I've specified the field names that are in each of the tables. And taken together, one of these, an author ID, a first name, a last name, a rating, and a comment, taken all together, that would make one record in a, uh, in a database file, so, or in a table, as we talked about. So if we've got this this uh, this diagram, and here we've we've got, as I say, table authors defining information about the author, and table books defining information about the books, um, and linking table authors with table books by the primary key here, the author ID, to the foreign key here, author ID and table books, and the way we think about it is one author can write many books. So once we've got this figured out, it becomes pretty easy to build our database. And the way we start off is we find um, Microsoft Access. Now when you're in the lab, you're going to find Microsoft Access here off the big Start button. I've already opened it up, so I just click to start here. And I'm going to move, and I'm going to create a blank database. And here, right over here, I can give my blank database a name, and I'll call it Lab2 database and I can even see where it's where it's going to be stored. I can say where I want it to be stored. So here we can put it wherever wherever you want. I suggest when you're working in the lab to put it in your H drive. So we'll say create and we're taken into it and we're ready to go. Now with a blank database like this the database takes you in right away to uh, opening up a table. It hasn't named your table, and it hasn't put anything in your table. It's just sort of setting up a blank table. I suggest clicking here on View and designing your table in Design View. And the first thing you'll be asked for is a table name. And since we've got, right over here, since we've got our entity relationship diagram listed out, it's really easy to design our tables. We don't have to think about too much. We just go, okay, well, what's the name of my table? Well, my table, first one is called Authors. Say okay. And now, here we are, ready to design. Now, the first thing that's in here, it says ID, but we don't have an ID. We have an author ID. So you see how I've changed that? And here's another key component. We want author ID, which is going to be a primary key. And this little indicator here says, oh, that's a primary key. We want author ID to be auto number. Perfect. Next, we want first name. And it's going to be text, and that's the default. And then we want last name. And it's going to be text. That's the default. And we want a rating. That is going to be a number. And the default, right down here you can see, it's a long integer. And finally, comment. And we want that to be a memo. So we won't be able to put as much text as we want in place. At this point, um, you can save, and it'll save the table, or close and it would prompt you for save. And there we have it, how to create a tab. It's open a database, create a database from scratch, 
and get your first table in place.